Rain is the best time of day. Like the old saying, spring showers bring on morning flowers. Another beautiful day with the best gardens DIY. Ah! Did I ruin your video? I saw these seeds for sale online on eBay. They're Russian giant cabbages. So I did a little research and found out that in some instances they can get over 100 pounds. The record being like 130 pounds or so. So we decided to do a little competition to which we would see who could grow the biggest cabbage. So I bought the seeds. It took about two months for them to actually come in the mail. And we used several different techniques to sprout them. I sprouted some in starter pots. Some I put in plastic bags, to which I then transplanted into this gelato container. From this point, we had a transplant. I filled this 45-gallon pot up with jungle growth and miracle Grow potting soil, as well as some topsoil and a little bit of compost and mulch from my driveway, and then planted about 10 sprouts in there. After a while, I thinned those out. I don't think I lost very many, actually. This is another technique one of the other guys did. Those cabbages are about a week or two old. And these were the two that I kept. All right, these are the giant cabbages now. It's been about two months and a couple days. We got about a month left on our competition. Um, the cabbages I put on the upper beds did fine. I transplanted some of the smaller ones and put them down here. And I don't know if it's from the transplanting shock or insects eating the leaves. I mean, it looks like insects eating the leaves, but I've seen the same thing happening at other people's houses with cabbages that were transplanted they uh, did not do as well as the ones that stayed in the soil where they were originally planted so I found it kind of interesting to try to figure that out so basically what we're going to do here is I'm going to end up growing one big cabbage once I get a big enough cabbage to harvest I'll pull the first one and then I'll let the other one finish a quick google and, uh, search will show you some, some of the different giant cabbages that have been grown in the past I'm really excited about this project and can't wait to share it with everyone. So be sure to press the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload that video. And hopefully we'll see you next time with the Best Gardens DIY. I'm your host, Alex.